25, lives in Dublin, a graduate of Dublin University, and in what do you have a degree? I have a degree in English and French, and I qualified as a teacher of English and French, and there was no such thing as a job, so I ended up becoming a model. And these languages are the reason that you've been so helpful as an interpreter during our rehearsal. Well, it was nice to be able to help Tad out. She worked very hard, and I was glad that I could do something to help her. <laughs> now, I understand that as Miss Ireland, you have toured the United States. That's right, yes. Uh, last March, you know, for St. Patrick's Week. It's not a day here. It's a week-long celebration. <laughs> what cities did you see? Uh, I was taken over. In fact, my mother came with me as my chaperone. She had all the fun. I had all the work. But they took me to Los Angeles, San Francisco, Phoenix, Atlanta, Chicago, Pittsburgh, and eventually Philadelphia. And then I fell home. <laughs> I thought you saw Atlanta. Did you mention Atlanta? Yes, Atlanta. You, you did, yeah. yeah. I was did, there for a day. Did you pick day. up an, a, a southern accent down there? Well, if you want me to do the southern accent, I could do it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Ireland. You definitely went to Atlanta. And now, Miss Uruguay, would you step out here? And she'd like to have an interpreter. She is Andrea Lopez. She's 17. She lives in Montevideo, and she's a high school student. Ask her what she's going to do when she finishes high school. ¿Qué vas a hacer al terminar tus estudios de bachillerato? Bueno, empezar mi carrera que es educación física. I'm going to start on my career, which is physical education. I saw in her bio that she teaches aerobics to children and to old people. How old are these old people doing aerobics? Vi en tu biografía que le enseñas ejercicios aeróbicos a niños y a personas mayores. ¿Qué edad tienen las personas mayores? Bueno, entre 30 y 50. Well, between 30 and 50. 30 and 50. I don't know whether I can go on now. <laughs> Well, I, I think that uh, if she is going to teach English, she should have learned some English by now. Uh, you can say something to our audience in English, can't you, Miss Uruguay? Yes, I can. <laughs> I want to thank all of the people here in Miami, the organizations, and I want to say I love all of you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Miss Uruguay. Next is Miss Chile, and she too would like to have an interpreter. She is Claudia Van Cintion, 19, lives in San Fernando, and she's a university student. What does she study? ¿Qué estás estudiando en la universidad? Estudio ganadería. I'm studying cattle breeding. Cattle breeding. Uh, what would she like to do in the future? ¿Qué quisieras hacer en un futuro? Trabajar en un campo, dedicarme a cuidar animales que me gustan mucho. I would like to work in the country and uh, engage in taking care of animals that I, which I love very much. Does she live on a farm now? Tú vives en un fundo, en una finca en los momentos, en este momento. Se podría decir que sí, me estoy trasladando a la ciudad, pero la mayor parte del tiempo la paso en campo. You could say so. I am moving to the city, but I do spend most of my time out in the country. And does she have pets? Y tienes mascotas. Muchas. <laughs> Many. In the United States, we have a campaign to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Has she heard that? Tú sabes que en Estados Unidos tenemos una campaña para neutralizar a las mascotas, o sea, para que no procrear. ¿Has oído decirte, has oído hablar de eso? No, qué pena. Well, she's heard it now. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to talk with you, Miss Canada. Karen Tilly, 21, lives in Calgary. Now, being Miss Canada is a full-time job, but you were going to college, weren't you? Yes, I was prior to becoming Miss Canada. Where were you going to school? Um, I was going to Mount Royal College in Calgary. And what were you studying? Uh, business administration. Uh -huh. What would you like to do in the future? I'd like to get into marketing, public relations, something along that line. Very good. I saw in your bio that you do not have a boyfriend. No. Uh, what are you looking for in a young man? Height. Height? <laughs> How tall are you? I'm 5'10". 5'10". I'll tell you what. All of the men in the audience were over six feet and single. Stand up. Stand up. Take your pick. <laughs> 
In a way, cut that out. There's a short guy standing on his chair up there. I won't do. Thank you, Miss Kennedy. Thank Kendrick. you. All right, Miss Brazil, she too would like to have an interpreter. She is Marcia Giagio Panaveses, 21, lives in Rio de Janeiro, and she is a model. Ask her what she has enjoyed most here at the Pat. O que é a coisa que você gostou de mais aqui no concurso? Olha, eu gostei das pessoas, de, das amizades que eu fiz aqui. I enjoyed the people and uh, all of the friends that I made here. De conhecer outras culturas, de Sabe, eu acho que agora tomei um pouco de consciência de que estamos cada vez mais unidos e que deixamos um pouco de guerra e que somos irmãos e tomei mais consciência disso. She's enjoyed a lot of things. Yes, she has. I have uh, learned about other cultures and I have learned, I have become more conscious of the fact that we uh, certainly can become more united in the world and try to avoid uh, some of the uh, negativity in it. Well, that's nicely said. Now, our winner will receive almost a quarter of a million dollars in cash and prizes. What would she do with all that money? O que que você vai fazer com todo o dinheiro se ganha? Bom, eu pretendo, sabe, dividir para um pouco para mim, é claro que eu acho que é essencial. E eu vou de... já que tem uma obra tão bonita aqui nos Estados Unidos do USA Africa, eu vou doar um pouco para ela. I think she has a lot of bills, doesn't she? I would uh, like to keep some for myself. That's quite essential right now. And uh, also, I would like to uh, put some into charity for US USAF. Well, that's very nice. Thank you, Miss Brazil. Thank you for your help.